Hello everybody, again what we're doing with this one is we're trying to solve this equation and figure out what x is equal to. Now you'll notice again we have x's on the left hand side and x's on the right hand side. So what we've got to do is get all those x's in one spot. So there are a couple of different ways we could do it and it doesn't really matter which way we do it as long as we start out by getting all the x's in one spot. So if we plus by 3x on both sides, let's see what happens. Now minus 3x plus 3x, they're opposites and will cancel out and just leave the 31 on the left hand side. 2x plus 3x is 5x. And that should be a minus. Okay, so if we have if we have 31 is equal to 5x minus 4. Now I'll write it around this way. 5x minus 4 is equal to 31. Now I think what I might do is I'll plus 4 on each side. So if I plus 4 on each side, I've kept the equation balanced. Now Minus 4 plus 4 are opposites and will cancel out. And 31 plus 4 is 35. Now, between this 5 and the x is a times. The opposite of a times is a divide. So if we divide both sides, the times by 5 and the divide by 5 will cancel out. And the x will be left on its own. And 35, how many 5s is? 7. So x is equal to 7. Now, we can check that a number of different ways, I suppose. We can check that by putting in place of x, 7 into each side of this equation and make sure that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So, if everywhere there was a x, we'll now put a 7. We'll see what happens. So, there was a 7 in place of the x, there's now a 7. In place of the x, there's now a 7. So 31 minus now 3 times 7 is 21. 31 take away 21 is 10. And on the other side here, 2 times 7 is 14. 14 minus 4 is 10 again. So there we go. One side is equal to the other side when x is equal to 7. So x is equal to 7 is the right answer. Alrighty, well, I'll see you in class where you can ask any questions. Bye-bye.